Hi, I'm here with my beautiful cousin Don. And we're about to watch um Hello, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to watch Evil Dead. Yeah. So since me and my cousin had a good time reviewing this uh, episode and we really didn't get a review in, I'm going to just tell you how I felt about it. Um, <clears throat> so it was good. Um, it was cool that Ash went on a vision quest. His father took him and showed him that um, there are missing pages to the book and that that cult that worships him has been around since for a while, maybe since the original first movie. So, um, and uh, Ash's father takes him on a vision quest basically and shows him that he can go and get these pages, they're still in the basement. Meanwhile, we have back at the farm. Ruby is getting a visit from a spirit that's trapped in the book. And the spirit wants to make a deal with her. Meanwhile, we still have Kelly, um, Pablo, and Randy. They're, uh, well, Kelly and Randy find each other in Ash's house, and um, Kelly wants to protect Brandy, so she tell, tells her, come with me, basically, or if you want to live, like Terminator, but she didn't really say that. Say that. Anyway, <clears throat> when they leave, um, they get attacked by a deadite, and the deadite is Pablo. Pablo is now possessed. With Ash retrieving the lost pages, he has information from his father where he believes Ruby lives, and he goes there to confront her. But what he finds there in, in return is something quite different, and, or what he was not expecting at all. Kelly wants to protect Brandy, so she tells her, come with me, basically, or if you want to live, like Terminator, but she didn't really say that, say that. Anyway, <clears throat> when they leave, um, they get attacked by a deadite, and the deadite is Pablo. Pablo is now possessed by, um, you know, a demon. And also, she's also, I love saying also, <laughs> she had get, she had gotten bitten by Pablo, and what since we know from the original movies that if you get bit by a deadite, you might become a deadite, or you might sprout a deadite body part. So Kelly has a deadite fucking mouth popping out of her leg, which is really cool. Like it it makes you uh, think of the old school. That's pretty cool. So that makes you think of the old school, um, uh, well, makes me think of uh, Resident Evil uh, 2 and 3 when they did a lot of that uh, metamorph shit with the body and the uh, bites. Oh yeah, he finds upstairs this chubby chick who survived from last episode, her and the boyfriend were hitchhiking, and that didn't turn out too well. And um, the girl's telling him, don't make too much noise, you'll wake the baby. But you don't want to wake the baby. I always say that at the end. I'm sorry, it's ghetto. Um, but yeah, Ash uh, Evil Dead, this episode was pretty good. And it was uh, straight to the point. Um, we got to see Ash um, deal with the death. Well, not the death of his father, but seeing that he had to kill his father again. I'm trying to recover his daughter and um, to make sure everything is all right in this world. I love that um, Pablo is possessed in this episode. That's kind of, I didn't see it coming, even though he had the writing all over him. I didn't think he was gonna become a deadite. Um, and I like that she, um, um, what's her name, has like got bit and there's a fucking uh, Kelly. Kelly got bit and there's like a face growing out of her um, leg. Uh, how they would resolve this? Will Kelly have to cut her leg off and get a chainsaw on her leg? Like, <laughs> what's good? Um, but um, get at me. If you like this review, you know what to do. Hit me back. Peace.